back at home. Ben Bybee making his season debut. He's going to face the Trojans from Little Rock, who've made the bus trip over. And Ben Bybee making the start. It's been a long stretch. He had mononucleosis. He said to wait a long time to get his first opportunity. I'm sure he's ready to go. This is going to be fun to watch. Different pitches that Bybee will throw today. Off to a good start here with a roller to second. Stovall took an extra split second to gather that ground ball and throws out Ty Rhodes to begin the game. Three infielders on the left side of the diamond. And that one's right to Stovall at second. How about that positioning? You couldn't do that in the big leagues, but you can here in Stovall. Well to the right of second base. Aloy stays at his normal position. Doesn't Edge. matter. Breaking ball, strike three. Ben Bybee had to wait a while with Tito when you're that cleanup hitter. And maybe now that's ball four. McLaughlin will walk. 350 Nine. as far as an average. So when it comes to situational, well, there you go. There's one. Base hit. And, <laughs> you know, the kids got pop. The Brutally kid. cold at times. Another 3-2. That's high. Ball four. And what the bases are loaded. What do they say about Another hits? Another step and towards getting out of this inning. Little looper out into left. Pechtel was deep. The shortstop Segwine went out, made the play. Tagging is McLaughlin. And he's safe at the plate. Segwine, who made a nice running grab, couldn't get a lot on that throw. That was an interesting decision to send Ben, but it worked out perfectly. And the pitch from Stubber. A little bit up and in. Did it hit him? It grazed him. So... A hit batter will load the bases. Plus, stubborn. 13th pitch of this at bat to Peyton Holt. And he wears it for ball for, for the HBP. And the first run will score. Trojans need an out, that's for sure. Little soft pop up. This will carry to Trevino and end a lengthy inning. Eight bat, two score. Arkansas removed from the baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> and the pitch oh, that doesn't surprise me. is cut on the mist. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Stovall right there. Mm -hmm. And a liner to center. Here comes Edmondson. He will dive and make the catch and hold on. Bobby has retired the first five that he has faced in his season debut, but Jake Wright has a single. Able to drop run in uh, front of Lovich and left. If you don't have the absolute elite, sometimes shifting helps out. Often running was right, doesn't matter. Harmon will wave and miss in K. So Ben Bybee won the battle. Someone got themselves a baseball. 3-2 pitch. That's in. That's ball four. So Helfrich will walk to begin the second inning. Ravaged season. Helfrich runs. That ball's drilled to left center field. Starting to carry back to the wall. For it is reason. gone. Opposite field home run by Peyton Stovall. And the Razorbacks have a 4-0 lead. On home run number three for Peyton, and there's a happy Hog fan who came up with the baseball. But you're talking about a more powerful swing. That was exhibit A in our discussion. Oh, yeah. Ball just comes off that bat a little differently. Just comes off a little bit more. You're not thinking about, oh, do I have to slow down? It's just freedom is what a lot of guys refer to it as. Oh, I like that. That's a good description. And Dylan Carter. Comes on, the junior from Bentonville came back from that torn UCL in about 10 months, really healthy. I think it was May when he was injured. Bamba lifts one to center. Edmondson will backpedal and make the catch for the first down. Wear it in the dugout, I think. That should be the case. Pectol with a chopper to third. Right to Holt. And the throw to first retires the three-hole hitter for the Trojans. And All the records that T is uh, broken. That ball's hit well to center field, tagged. Edmondson mm -hmm. will track it down, and Williams made good contact, but Carter gets a perfect inning. Balance, so you're not falling off the mound. That's ball four. That's a lot of kicks I mean, in that game. That one smoked to left, 107 off the bat of Ahivo Loy. McLaughlin will turn second and hold there as Pecto plays it back in. And the Hawks. Wagner is 0 for 1. He's going to drive a ball in the air, right center. Should be playable. Williams gliding back, makes the catch as he reaches the track, and Arkansas will strand a couple of base runners. And Christian Fouch comes on the pitch here in the top of the sixth. Positioning standpoint, a pitching execution standpoint, that's not exactly perfect, but Segwine rolls one by McLaughlin into right for the Trojans' second hit of the game. Jonesboro native. Hits that rather well on the gap to left center field. Edmondson back. He's one stride away from the wall, and he makes the catch. 
I didn't think Rhodes got all of it, and he still got pretty good carry. Three hitters. A chopper right to an infielder. There's Stovall, makes the play. Inning in. So a hit and a runner left on base. Five and a half. That you've uh, faced before in the West if you're a Razorback squad will not be the case every other year, and Helfrich will take that 78 mile an hour. 3-0 pitch. That's not close. That was an interesting like time. Talk about with Struber in that first inning for Little Rock. You know, you get you get enough pitches, you get them tired. Helfrich at third, Stovall at second, McLaughlin at first. That ball hit in the gap, left center field towards the fence, and four will score on another grand slam for the Razorbacks. Fahiva Lloyd clears the bases with one big swing, and he's jumped the lead from 4 nothing to 8-zip. Didn't want to jinx anything right there, but Aloy has had incredible success with bases loaded so far. And that's why. Three for three, rolling with a walk. That ball's tagged towards the bullpen and left, and Jack Wagner has his first racer back home run. Up, out, and gone, so Wagner gets the start. And he's got himself a long ball as well. And Arkansas has made it a 9-0 lead. 388 feet for Wagner, who last year at Tarleton had a big year from the homer standpoint. 15 homers for the Texans. Number one as a hog feels pretty good. It's always nice getting that first one out of the way. Bring something to this game. Off his fingertips, he rolls one to third. It's bobbled by Bamba, and Holt will reach. Up a little bit, but at first glance, it just looked like he. Uh oh. Edmondson shoots one out to left field, back to the fence, and it'll carry over. Another home run for the Razorbacks. Will Edmondson has his first as a Razorback, joining Wagner and Alloy on what has been a big inning for the Hogs, and they take advantage of that two out air and cash in two more runs. Stone Hewlett comes on. He is the fourth use by Arkansas, and since this is run rule territory, if Matt Hobbs had a design on maybe allocating pitchers over nine innings. So Pickering will take strike three, and that did not take long before he was excused. That's a tough pitch yeah, for that was lefty, not lefty. lefty. Here's Williams. Right to McLaughlin at first, and he's retired, so 0 for 3. We were telling you a little bit about Williams earlier. Line to shut out and run rule the Trojans, and they may do it here. Pop up to McLaughlin. He's there. He's got it. Game over. And the Razorbacks with an 11-0 seven-inning shutout over the Trojans. Another solid game by the Hogs. Pitching staff, some guys came in to get some innings in and performed well. Another shutout. Sure did. So Arkansas gets their 20th win of the season. It would be the fourth fastest time under DVH in 23 games to get to 20 wins.